Maggie from BackToTheLandLiving.com and today I want to show you some upgrades we've made to our chicken coop. So we got new chicks this spring and they've been growing in the barn and we want to move them outside but our, we don't want to put them with our old chickens which are behind me here because we want to be able to know which ones are which when we go to call our old chickens. And so we wanted to expand our chicken coop, make room for the new chicks. And so I thought I'd show you guys what we did and how we expanded our chicken run, what we did, some upgrades to the inside of the coop and uh, to our roost, to our watering, all that stuff. So I thought I'd show you what we've done and in case you're looking to expand your coop too. So for our chicken run, we wanted to expand it. And the first thing we did was we drove our stakes. So out this way is more of a field area for the new chickens. And what we did was we just ripped two by fours in half and pointed them on the ends. Dipped them in, we dipped them in some sealer so they wouldn't rot. And then we drove them in. And for the woods area that we wanted to have for our chickens, we decided to not do any stakes and just use trees. So like for this tree, we just ran the chicken wire along behind it and stapled it on. And we didn't, so we didn't have to put any posts in, in the woods area. So for the chicken wire, we used some 2x2 two two chicken wire and some 1x1 one one chicken wire. We just, what we could find. And um, I found that the smaller the holes in the chicken wire, it was a bit more stable and a bit stronger. So I would recommend using that in the future. But we just used what we had and both worked fine. Our chicken run expanded because our current chicken run is quite small it's only about the same size of our actual chicken coop it's not very large and we have found that in the springtime and when it's rainy the it gets pretty muddy and gross and it has been smelling really bad and we don't think that's very healthy for us or for our chickens and so we are planning on calling these chickens and when we do we're going to allow the new, new chickens to have this area and also the other area which is about 10 times the size and so we're hoping that that will um, make it a lot healthier and there won't be such bad smells and that they'll just be healthier chickens. And the reason we didn't go with free range is because sometimes we take care of the chickens, sometimes my parents take care of the chickens, sometimes my grandfather takes care of the chickens. We kind of, our whole family kind of helps out and it's a lot uh, more complicated when you have multiple people taking care of them because not everybody wants to go chase chickens around to get them in in the evening. So. I know there's ways that you can train your chickens to come in, but for right now, that wasn't really a, a good option for us, so we thought we'd kind of go halfway in the middle and have a pretty big chicken run and keep them penned in a bit. So we're going to plan on laying them out during the day in the chicken run, and then we put the roosts in the, in the chicken coop so that we can get them in at night, feed them in there at night, and then shut it up so that no predators get them in the evenings. And so that's our plan, and I'll, now I'm going to show you guys the actual inside of the chicken coop. So this is the inside of our chicken coop. It um, used to be two stories when we initially had it for our last flock of chickens and we did not like that design at all. There was a floor here and we had found it so hard to clean out because we couldn't actually reach it. So if something happened and we needed to get to a chicken that was up top, it was pretty well impossible. And so when we got this new uh, round of chicks, we decided to completely rip it out and make it one big open room. So I definitely would recommend and when you're building your chicken coop or you're redesigning it, make sure that you can actually reach all areas of your chicken coop so that you can clean it out and you can reach chicken if it needs, if it's sick or if it died or something. And so in our chicken coop, we have a sand floor and the chickens, they like the sand, they like to bath in it, they kind of fluff their wings in it. And we have our water can here. So this is a new one. We used to use the small little red ones and we have one still outside that we are using but we find that they have poop in it a lot and it's hard to keep it clean. So this type, it hangs and so it's not so easy for them to poop in and it just keeps it cleaner and it's larger so we don't have to fill it up as frequently. We have it hanging here and then behind me here, we have our roosts. And so for that, all we did was we took some branches and some trees from outside and we put them up 
And so right now they're a little high for these chickens, but our older chickens, we definitely know they can jump that high because they have been laying in our nest boxes, which are that high. And the reason everything is so high, like our nest boxes, is because we have that floor in and we didn't want to change it after. And so that's what we have for now, and we're going to see how it works for these guys, but I'm hoping it works out pretty good. So in here we have our nest boxes. And so these are the same ones we have for our last chickens. We just cleaned them out. But we have them and they, we can pull this out to clean it, which is a really big feature because if you can't clean it out, they get really gross. And so we like to be able to move it out of the actual coop, take it out, scrape it out, clean it out, and then put it back in. And then inside the nest boxes, they're full of sawdust. So that's nice and soft for laying the eggs. They don't break and also it keeps your eggs clean. And if you keep your egg clean, then you don't have to wash them, so, which is great. So you can store them on the shelf or preserve them. And so we have our laying boxes here. And so these chicks aren't laying yet, and they're too small to get up here yet. But once they get full grown, they'll be able to fly up here, and they'll lay their eggs. And then our roosts, we have them kind of high, but we wanted them to be higher than our nest boxes so that the chickens would not roost on the next boxes. We don't want them to do that because we don't want them to get pooping in here or eating the eggs. So that's one thing we had a big problem with before. Before our floor was right here and the chickens would stand here and eat the eggs, which was not what we wanted. We want to have our eggs to eat ourselves, not for them to eat. And so that's one big thing that we like about them being high. They're a little high, but at least the chickens won't be able to stand here and eat the eggs. So that's our nest boxes, our roofs, and that's pretty well the extent of our chicken coop. Um, on this side, I'll show you we have uh, a mesh screen over a big opening so that there's some airflow, and then we have a window up top that will stay open in the winter so that we get some airflow in because ventilation, we had it as being a problem before, so we're trying to figure out ways that we can have better ventilation for the chickens, so taking out the floor and adding that window up there, and we're going to add some vents at the back so that we get some cross breeze going. So we actually just built a new little roost so that the chicks can enjoy it while they're still small. They've been enjoying roosting in the barn and so we built this little one for them and then as they get bigger they can move up to the bigger roosts. And so they were on it earlier but when I came in here they got off it. <laughs> so that's pretty well the extent of our chicken coop. If you have any questions about our coop or uh, anything that you would like to know more about it just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out. Or if you have chickens and you have some experience with a coop and you have some good tips to share with others let us know and that'd be really helpful and so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.